Ah, oh, the soundtrack is fire. Whoever is the the servant of the secret fire of this soundtrack, they did a really good job on it. They wield the flame of honor. Crabine from Dunland! What's going on guys, it's Doink, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a bit of a different video, something I'm really excited about doing though. Today I'm gonna be watching a fan film for the first time on the channel, uh, which is definitely something a bit different for sure, but what makes this fan film kind of special in particular is that it is the hunt for Gollum, and there was just an announcement for a Hunt of Gollum movie uh, directed by Andy Serkis, and starring Andy Serkis as Gollum, of course, which is great news. And even better, we get Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and um, Philippa Boyens back. So that's fantastic news, and apparently they're going to be uh, there every step of the way. And uh, if, if they end up continuing to do that, and everything goes well, and they don't try to extend uh, one line in the appendices, well, one, maybe like a couple sentences in, in the appendices, and uh, a line in Fellowship of the Ring, I feel like doing anything more than one movie is kind of crazy. They announced, I think, two movies and uh, that are on this new Lord of the Rings slate, which is exciting. The fact that Lord of the Rings com is coming back is really exciting, and I kind of had a suspicious feeling that it was going to be coming back, but that news kind of quadrupled down on it and just completely destroyed any kind of worry that I possibly had about Lord of the Rings not coming back. It's kind of funny too because the Rings of Power is terrible, and I feel like in a lot of ways, this is uh, kind of a throwing shade a little bit at Rings of Power for being so awful. Cause I mean, they just had like a bit of store, like a bit of the, uh, I think just a part of the appendices, I think, uh, rented to them and, uh, they, with, with the stuff they were given, they didn't do anything good with it. That's for sure. And, uh, I'm sure they probably could have done something with it. Or if you're in a situation where what they give you, you can't really do anything with, then just don't even bother. Just, just stop. But I feel like a lot of people worry that Rings of Power is something to look at in terms of what the future of Lord of the Rings could be. And I under I completely understand that worry. And a lot of I think a lot of people are worried about Lord of the Rings coming back. They're I think they're worried that it could possibly become another Rings of Power, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And I have a lot of optimism. Cautious optimism, I would say, but definitely more optimistic than cautiously optimistic. Um I'm incredibly excited about the announcement, what the future of Lord of the Rings will have to offer and if it's if it's something really good and it's something special then we have a lot to look forward to but uh if it ends up becoming another star wars or another one of these other things then that'll be really depressing but here's the thing that makes me think that it won't become that way um with with all those other things those companies were hijacked by wokeness by sjw's by all these by all these different things and um, basically all of these agendas and all these different things are getting pushed into these movies and all these different things. The people that are working behind these companies don't actually care about the about the property that they're working on. They All they care about is pushing their agenda and it's a lot of the time it's stuff they don't even believe themselves because <laughs> it's all like pretty stupid. So it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens because it's definitely possible that that could happen. But I think the chances are are way lowered, considering that I feel like Peter Jackson, Fran Walsh, and Philippa Boyens, and also Andy Serkis as well, I don't want to exclude him at all. Uh, I feel like they've all done a really good job at respecting uh, the Lord of the Rings franchise and just uh, Tolkien as a whole. I mean, there's definitely some stuff that was changed in the movies, and, and The Hobbit is definitely something that's kind of insane, but... Um, that's definitely a lot of studio interference that made that that made that go wrong But I feel like if uh, they just let Peter Jackson do exactly what he did back with Lord of the Rings And they gave him the time to do it. I feel like the Hobbit films would have absolutely slapped but um, The Hobbit films I still really enjoy. I find myself watching Unexpected Journey uh, Quite more, quite a bit more often than the other than the other two so I I forget quite a few things that happen in the other two and there's actually a lot of very good moments uh, in the other two movies, especially uh, Battle of the Five Armies, there's some insane stuff with Thranduil and Legolas. And even though Legolas shouldn't necessarily be in there, I actually do like the addition of Legolas. I think it's something that's definitely uh, plausible, and I think if Tolkien were alive today, that's something that he could possibly rewrite into The Hobbit, because he has rewritten The Hobbit before. So I think that, I, I don't think he would necessarily do that. I don't think he would go that far, but I, I do think it's maybe possible, because Legolas, 
is literally uh, Thranduil's son. Uh, he's alive at the time, and he's he he should be there. Like it kind of makes sense, but and it and it's honestly kind of cooler to have him than just some random elf. So. I will take it. The problem is, is a lot of the over-the-top scenes that they did with him that was just kind of crazy and didn't make much sense. But there was some really good stuff with Legolas and Thranduil and uh, Gandalf and Thranduil and Bilbo and Gandalf. and There's a lot of Gandalf stuff. I really enjoy Gandalf in both The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. So it'll be really excited to see, I'll be really excited to see if we see Gandalf again in The Hunt for Gollum. Uh, and uh, I mean, we'll definitely be seeing him in this. I already know Gandalf's in this. And uh, uh, I've I, I know about the story and everything like that in the lore and uh, so I'm pretty familiar with it um, but it'll be interesting to see the take of this fan film and it'll be interesting to see uh, what we end up getting in the future with uh, Peter Jackson and uh, Andy Serkis, Fran Walsh, and Philippa Boyens uh, taking up the helms on Lord of the Rings again. And it'll be really interesting to see what happens, but uh, <laughs> I think I've gone on enough of a, I guess, a, not a rant, but uh, a tangent, I guess. Without any further ado, we should just go straight into the Hunt for Gollum fan film. I'm really excited to see what they got. I watched, like, right up till the title card and then I went back and I was like I need to react to this so that's the only part that I've seen is like the first like minute I think so the entire rest of the 38 minutes I haven't seen so uh, I know what Gandalf looks like and I know what Aragorn looks like because I've seen screenshots but um, and I and Gandalf was I think speaking during the uh, the, uh, the like that little intro portion I'm not entirely sure though I think it was Gandalf um, but yeah let's get right into this Oh yeah, and I also do want to mention that Warner Brothers, because they're Warner Brothers, copyright claimed this and, and made it so it wasn't visible to anybody for a while. So one of the reasons why I decided, and I was kind of interested in watching it, is because it was something that was very talked about when this announcement was made, and it wasn't something that I ever watched. The people of the North Kingdom were scattered, the descendants of kings forgotten, reduced to rangers. Yeah, Aragorn. Power had reawoken. Come on, CGI ring, you can do it. You can make it into the darkness so Bilbo can find you later. Ring to rule them all. For 500... <laughs> yeah, CGI hasn't really uh, aged well, but I mean, one, budgets on a fan film tend not to be super high, so it's not gonna like the CGI is gonna be insane. One thing that was cool that I did see already, I, I like that they're not showing Gollum. I like that, because I did see this part already. And he doesn't really show Gollum that much, and I think that's smart, because without having that budget in the CGI, I feel like it's better to keep him in a distance, keep him kinda in the dark a bit, and make him a little harder to see. Elbow Baggins. But yeah, I really like that. Because I can imagine that that's Andy Serkis, because they show just enough. Yeah, this is what I've seen up to. And I love the title card because it looks exactly like Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, Return of the King. It's beautiful. And I imagine that's something that we'll probably end up seeing with the new movie. I don't know if I'll watch that other channel or not. I really want to. Really bad. But I might be too tempted to go see it in theaters. I might just have to. And if I do that, I'll probably do a review or something. Gandalf the Grey. If you can't find him. No one can. This looks really good. I'm I'm really impressed with like the set pieces. Is that Crybabe from Dunland? We are on the eve of a new age. The orcs look good. The CGI is definitely a little rough, but like the stuff that's like practical and mixed in with like the the environments, like that stuff's really good. And like the 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 orcs look really good. They look better than the ones in the Hobbit. Those CGI monstrosities. I mean, they're not awful, but they would have been way better if they were practical. But I don't think Peter had the time. Is this gonna be Gollum's cave? It has to be, right? Surely. This is quite cool. Who could it be? Your name and your purpose. I'm a ranger of Arnor. I swear allegiance to the seven stars and seven stones. You're a long way from Arnor, ranger. And you speak the password of the Dúnedain, yet I know you not. I'm Arathir. 
This is cool! I really like this. I, I'm like, usually you have like a different kind of expectation with fan films, but like sometimes they exceed your expectations and it's really cool. And this is, this is doing it for me. Fans will not be safe much longer. Like this is, this is really cool. They put a lot of work into this. If you guys like this type of reaction of me doing fan films, let me know. Cause I would love to do more of these type of things. If, uh, if that's something you guys are interested in. What of your journey? I track a creature. Gollum. Small in size, yet cunning. Cunning. That's such a word they use in, in like the books and the movies. That's, I love, I love Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, all that stuff. I'm a diehard fan, especially lately. I've just been getting so into it because I've been reading into the books more and I've just been loving it. I've just been having such a good time with it. It's such a cool world. It's so cool. And there's so much potential for first age, second age, fourth age movies. Even some extra third age movies could be cool. Like the Gollum one. But hopefully it's nothing like the the Lord of Ring Gollum game. I've heard rumors, whisperings of a nameless fear. In the outlying villages, they speak of a ghost that drinks blood. A horror that lurks in the trees, snatching a sleeping child from a cot, a fresh fish from an open window. He only wished to catch a fish, such a sister! Okay, this is bad. This part, okay. I wanna, okay, I need to give some context. This part isn't bad, the audio is not good. In terms of the humming, she's very clearly humming into a microphone and she like kind of touched it with her mouth. Gollum, Gollum-ing, being a little menace. There's definitely some things that don't hold up, but the things that hold up really hold up and the things that hold up are the majority of it so far. So uh, this is really cool. Ah, oh, the soundtrack is fire. Whoever is the the servant of the secret fire of this soundtrack, they did a really good job on it. They wield the flame of honor. Crabbin from Dunland. And there ain't no man warrior at all. Goblock says there's trouble. So look out, or you'll get what's coming to you. Orcs, let's go. Forget this stinking raid. Look out for Goblock. He ain't just meat. Meat. I want fresh meat. The ADR is not great. What was that? I told you there was something. Quiet, you fool. What could it be? Surely not a ranger. This land does not belong to you. The, ma the, the makeup on the other orc looks better. But I like this one because he reminds me of a... Uh, Why can't we have some meat? Get your little bit off the flank. He's doing his ability. No way. I liked that shot, like the tracking, but he looked into my soul. Well, the makeup on that one is good. Find him. Bring him to me. So I don't think the orcs were anything that were in the original text. So that's definitely something that they're adding to add some, uh, to add some drama, to add some action. I'm good with it though. Cause I mean, surely he'll run into enemies on the way. I mean, he traveled a long way. Barely showing him is so smart. The way they're doing Gollum is really good. Is there CGI involved there? Or is it just some lanky guy? I feel like it's a lanky guy that they're just barely showing. Really smart. Not showing his face at all. Very smart. Now it's time to lug him around. He's gonna be kicking, screaming, smell bad. It's gonna be great, Aragorn, have fun. It's gonna be a long walk. Oh, that actually wasn't bad. I want to see that again. That That's not bad. Not bad. That does the job. Do you understand? Gollum. I kind of understand why people were hyping this up. I was kind of sleeping on it. I'm not going to lie. Put out its eyes. Put out its eyes. It's filthy. The ADR. He's very, he's in a room. He's not in a sack. He's in a he's in a recording room with a with a microphone. Let us out. Let us out. The ADR is really funny. I like the ADR. In, in a fun, it's in a funny it's like a dinky funny. There's like a dinkiness to this film that's charming. I give you my word. Gee, precious word, precious. Then you're staying in the sack. No! No! 
Yeah, it was like that the entire way. He just has to go this whole way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is there orcses? <laughs> A black rider? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Checks out. Won't get far. That was like the theme when Mouth of Sauron comes out of the, uh, the Black Gate. My master, Sauron the Great, bids thee welcome. <laughs> the audio. <laughs> yeah, it's, he just can't get a break. <laughs> He's just gonna solo all of them, because he's Aragorn. The orc makeup is good. Ah, oh, Stutton! Look at him go! Oh, that was kind of neat. Ooh! I love that sword. It's not Andoril, but it's so cool. It's quite cool. <laughs> the boss fight orc. That would be sick if he had a really cold moment of parrying a dagger that was thrown right at him by accident and that could have killed him if he wasn't fast enough and parry it. <laughs> Cold, Aragorn. You don't need to lay on him. He probably smells bad. Now he's like, where did Gollum go? Oh, he got nicked. Oh, is that a tranquilizer? Or a poison dart? It's the plant. It's the healing plant. The one that he later uses to save Frodo. If that's supposed to be uh, Arwen, it looks more like Elrond from the back. Ah! Oh, he got out. Come down, Gollum. Wow! It's coming. It looks really good. Black Riders! This is a cool little set piece. Bunch of fog, forest, fire. I don't think those are like plastic swords that they use when they're fighting. I think they're using the metal ones the whole time. I imagine they're doled out. I imagine they're probably the prop ones like that you can buy, but that you're not really supposed to smack together, but they probably had enough budget to be able to destroy a few maybe. <laughs> Gandalf looks so done with everything. What did you learn, Gandalf? I now know how the ring came to him. A wretched creature. So the Shire is at the forefront of our enemy's thoughts. We must protect it. <laughs> this portion is really funny in Lord of Ring Gollum. Riders in black have crossed the river. I fear the Nine have returned. Everything in that game is really funny. It's so horrible. Frodo must be protected at all costs. Send the Hobbit to Bree. I shall watch over the ring until you return. And Gollum. We'll keep him here. They just keep him there. They keep him well fed. What had it gotten its purchases? Wouldn't sell precious no no tricks it was. Little cheat. We should have squeezed it. And we will, precious. We will. I don't think they should have showed that at the end like that, but because I don't think that holds up, but it, it held up under the other lighting conditions. But it, hey, hey, if I'm looking at the circumstances of this being a fan film and everything like that, and probably a lower budget, like that's really, really good. That's super impressive. That's better than anything I could do. 
Uh, that, that, that's really good. I need to read this stuff. That's cool. It's quite cool. I think when it comes to Gollum, I think the, m the most of the time it was done super, super well, and I, I really liked it when it when he was barely shown and it was under like really dark lighting conditions um, when it was the CGI version of him. And I, I thought he looked really good when he was in the tree, especially. Uh, I think maybe he shouldn't have been shown there at the end like that, but um, I don't know. It still looked really good, but it definitely looked really video gamey. I think one thing with the voice is definitely the ADR is a little rough with all, with all the ADR and the whole thing. Uh, but when they're not using ADR, it it, it, it's definitely uh, quite a bit better, you could tell. Th they had one orc that wasn't using ADR than one that was, and they would talk one after another, so I think that was the portion where it was the easiest to tell for sure, just like how much better not using the ADR was. I think the ADR for Gollum especially, because you could tell the person was performing the voice like pr pretty close to the mic. They probably weren't moving their body too much. Gollum moves his body quite a lot. He's quite uh, jittery. He moves quite a lot. He, he can't keep still. And I think with that, the uh, voice, it didn't look like it fit with the movement like especially when he like jumped up and like turned and like did the thing there at the end he was talking at the same time and i feel like there should have been like something there maybe like he's talking like this so then when he moves is like ah, 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 continuous talking, you know something like that i don't know but like i think everything was done really really well uh i think the locations were done really well i don't know exactly how it was done how they did like the they had the outside location obviously but then i think they had some stuff digitally added in and it was either something that they probably had as a set just like they did with back in the day with uh, Lord of the Rings and all that. Or maybe it was something like just like maybe just like a digital PNG or something like that that they threw in there or something like that. I don't know. Or like maybe a digital model. I'm not entirely sure. But however they did it, it looked really, really good. And I think where this fan film really shined was I think for the most part, they did a really good job with Gollum. The guys that did Gandalf and Aragorn did a really good job as well. I really enjoyed the dialogue. I thought the dialogue was very, very, uh, it, it sounded very Tolkien and it sounded very, uh, it just sounded a lot like the dialogue in the films as well. It worked really well for me. Yeah, this this film was this fan film was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna continue to watch these credits. I think. Oh, there's some bloopers in there. It looks like. Let's get those bloopers. Oh, unnecessary. That's wholesome. Oh, look at that little rat dog. It's so cute. The Hunt for Gollum. That was cool. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for the uh, the Hunt for Gollum fan film. I really enjoyed that. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I would love to do more fan films in the future if that's something you guys are interested in. So let me know if you guys would like me to do more fan films and that type of video. This one was really, really good. I enjoyed this one quite a lot. And I'm really, really excited to see what Peter Jackson and uh, and crew and also, uh, I guess this time around, we got to give Andy Circus a lot more credit as well because he'll be directing this time around, which is something that Peter Jackson isn't going to be doing. Doing, which will it'll definitely be interesting to see what uh, how that goes I'm, I'm really looking forward to the future of what Lord of the Rings will have to offer and uh, I think with uh, the Lego sets and because uh, I've, I've been getting into Lego so hard lately it's been insane I've just been I've I, I need help help me I need help I'm addicted to Legos I need help I've been loving the Lord of the Rings line and I missed out on the old one for the most part but I've kind of uh, jankily built uh, not jankily it's the exact same set but it's not built from the original sets parts it's from a bunch of scattered parts and fr some from my own collection but I built uh, Weathertop uh, the attack on Weathertop set from back in the day I don't have like the figures the proper figures except for Aragorn uh, I, I'm kind of just using the hobbits from Riven from the Rivendell set for it but um, the Rivendell set's amazing uh, I'm excited for Baradur I'm excited for of course the Gollum film I hope it's good I hope all of the Lord of the Rings films in the future are gonna be good we could forever point and laugh at how awful the Rings of Power is because it's awful and when season 2 comes out we can point and laugh at it because it's awful they really don't have any like connections to like the rest of the lord of the rings like like franchise the whole uh like the property they don't really they don't have access to the like the whole property they just got rented it and like a portion of it and they didn't do anything with it but anyway guys i think that'll do it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one deuces <laughs>